Datuk Sri Najib Razak's call for Netflix Man on the Run documentary to be removed has instead driven many to watch it on the streaming platform. The one-hour, 38-minute film, which premiered on Friday, ranked second in the top 10 movies in Malaysia today, climbing from the fourth spot yesterday. Najib made the demand through his counsel, Tan Sri Muhammad Shafi Abdullah, earlier this week, garnering a myriad of reactions from social media users. He said the show, which interviewed several high-ranking individuals such as former Attorney General Tan Sri Tommy Thomas and current Prime Minister Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim, as extremely subjudice and contentious. Now, why is it subjudice? I've already explained in detail in court. But among some of the reasons is this. Like for instance, uh, the, the, um, the program suggests uh, that Datuk Sri Najib seems to be uh, either the center or Jolo is the center in the concentric circles of knowledge of the entire fraudulent scheme. Now that is something which the this court must decide, not not anybody else. And uh, then they say that Jolo stole one MDB money. Um, politician and others aided and abetted him, suggesting that Tuk Sri Najib, in fact, uh, is involved. Now, uh, and then we have uh, even people like uh, Tommy Thomas, the former Attorney General, uh, he suggested rather uh, unfairly, he says this entire scheme was a decision between Najib and Jolo. Yeah, and uh, then we have people like the ambassador of uh, the ex-ambassador of uh, United States in Malaysia by the name of John Mallott, uh, who doesn't seem to know his facts, but somehow or other he still make comments. Uh, he seemed to suggest that Datuk Sri Najib being, was the chairman of one MDB. You, you and I know that's not correct. Yeah? Uh, the chairman is always the chairman of the board of directors. Yeah? But Datuk Sri Najib was only the chairman of board of advisors which has got no executive power, in fact, no power whatsoever. Separately, a post on Facebook page of Najib Razak read that the documentary presented wrong facts and slander. The post also said the film had also played up propaganda that had been repeated before the 14th general election. Netflix has since declined to comment.